Listen up, agent. The following briefing is brought to you by From the Helicarrier, your number one news source for Marvel's Avengers Alliance and the Marvel Avengers Alliance Wikipedia. Welcome back, Agent. After a much-needed break and a chance to rekindle the energies for the series, we return to look at another hero who will be a great boon to you in the Alliance. Skill in the art of the staff, and capable of dealing massive damage against any foe through his powers, this powerful mutant is known as a ladies' man and a thief by nature. A member of the X-Men and one-time horseman of the apocalypse, let me properly introduce you to Gambit. Born and raised in New Orleans, Remy Etienne Lebeau was adopted by the then patriarch of the local thieves guild, John Luc Lebeau. Hiding his powers and practicing them in secret upon development of them, he eventually came into conflict with the immortal mutant Chandra, a battle which cost him a beloved cousin. Later on, he was exiled from the Thieves' Guild after killing his adopted brother in a duel. Eventually, after hiring the hideously immoral mad scientist Mr. Sinister to help control his powers, of which were going out of control at the time, Gambit repaid the favor by leading his marauders into what eventually became the famous Mutant Massacre. Horrified, he tried to stop them, only managing to save a child that would eventually grow up to be the mutant anti-hero and marrow. Wandering the world in an attempt to atone, he eventually encountered the X-Man Storm, de-aged by the psychotic nanny. Helping her, he eventually joined the X-Men. While his relationship with the team has been rocky, especially after they learned his past, Gambit's first loyalty has been to the team and to his lady love, Rogue. A 90-point infiltrator hero, Gambit does not currently have an alternate uniform, which allows him to gain another class or extra abilities. Despite this, Gambit still proves himself to be incredibly useful thanks to the abilities he does possess, along with the options given to him by his class. With a single passive to his name, Gambit's wild card grants him two particular effects. The first of these is a chance to assist an ally either when they attack or they are attacked by throwing out his level 2 skill, of which we'll be going over shortly. Not only does this apply the effects of his second level skill, but this also gives him a kinetic charge. These charges are unique to Gambit and work towards the rest of his kit. Stacking up to four times, this buff also grants Gambit an increased critical hit rate. It will be Remy's first skill, Bow Roulette, in which will grant you the bulk of his kinetic charges. Each one of his staff attacks will gain you anywhere from two to four stacks of these charges, which means that even though they can be dispelled, it's fairly easy to build them back up again. It should be noted here that missing the enemy will cause Gambit not to gain these charges, so be wary when attacking dodgy enemies. Gambit's second attack, Ace of Spades, is his bread and butter skill. Once you've got the charges from his passive in his level 1, Gambit can throw out his level 2 skill as much as he wants, since he is granted an extra turn for doing so, applying pain and exposed onto the enemy. This makes the X-Men one of the better heroes around when working with pain strategies. Raging Cajun, the third skill that Gambit has, is what his other skills are building up to, consuming all the charges Gambit has thus built up, as well as exploiting the exposed enemies will allow him to do a lot of damage, especially if he can get a critical hit in. This hits harder than anything else he is capable of, and is by far his most potent skill. Remy's final attack, Royal Flush, is best described as a powerful utility move. It makes Rage and Cajun stronger by applying wide open to the enemy, it fumbles them which means he and his allies get free counterattacks and free kinetic charges, and finally it removes any and all buffs from them, making Gambit one of the few heroes who's capable of stripping away the added power from an entire enemy team. There is currently only a single EISO that Gambit calls his own, but it's a fantastic one for him to use. The Pilfered EISO grants Remy the 8 card stud passive, allowing him to stack up to 8 kinetic charges. This, in turn, grants him a higher critical chance rate, more extra turns, and it makes Raging Cajun capable of laying waste to even the toughest of foes. You can find this ISO in the very first chapter of the very first mission of Season 2, where the heroic battle of Rogue and Gambit can be found. The X-Man also has an AISO which he employs, known as the High Card AISO. This makes his Ace of Spades a stealthy attack on top of adding the flanked effect onto his enemies when he hits them. This actually opens up Gambit to be able to do an infinite combo, or as close as we've got with one. 
While attacking a flanked enemy, Remy will follow up with his roulette attack, which gives him at the very least two kinetic charges. Since Ace of Spades only spends one charge every time he uses it and grants him an extra turn doing so, the Cajun can continue to attack the flanked enemy as long as he has the stamina. The boss battle in Season 2, Chapter 1, Mission 6 is where you'll find the high card AISO. When Gambit joins forces with me, I make sure he has his personal ISOs equipped, as they'll lend strength to him more than anything else. Your options are open as far as the rest of his ISOs go, but I do have a few suggestions. Giving him the close ISO might be one of the best options, since it grants melee attacks a higher critical chance rate, meaning his Raging Cajun can hit that much harder. I also tend to put the Calamitous ISO onto his Royal Flush, guaranteeing me that it will hit his enemies. You might want to consider the Pulverizing ISO on his Bull Roulette if you're thinking about doing the Infinite Combo, since this makes it easier for you to set up the enemy with Wide Opened. For his Statistic ISOs, Remy works well with 4 Steady, 2 Skillful, and 2 Proficient. This gives him some much needed health to help survive attacks, enough evasion and accuracy to get by, and a nice meaty attack score to make him all that much better in dealing massive damage to enemies. Gambit is a fairly powerful, if slightly underrated, damage dealer who has enough utility to be useful if he can't get his combos out. His abilities to take extra turns are second to none, he's capable of surprising damage, and he works fantastic against group bosses. Should you be looking for someone to round out your team, it's clearly in the cards that Gambit will be a great recruit to the Alliance.